Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back once again to the correct views. Um, it looks as though I am going to be a, um, a regular guest, perhaps, on the Media Speaks, so I'm very happy to promote them. Um, I also want to mention um, I'm doing this for everyone. They've got two days left, but since I'm going to be on it, you're going to hear me yakking about Media Speaks anyway. Um, Anyone that sends me a picture of them eating meat on Mondays, especially if you live in California or Los Angeles particularly, I will promote your favorite charity on this show. And let me get into something here. I'm going to talk a little bit about Agenda 21, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what this whole Meatless Monday thing is that I talked about in the previous video because it's getting carried away here. Check this out. Agenda 21, among other things, they want less of us in the world. They want less of us living. It all ties in to uh, look at the Georgia monuments, Georgia Guidestones. They want millions of your average everyday people like you and I. They want us erased from the world. They want us not alive. Do you understand this? There are toxins in our vaccines and people like Bill and Melinda Gates are bringing these to countries where it is shattering the lives of people who are having adverse reactions to this. In some instances, vaccines are great things, people. I'm not saying that you should never get a vaccine. Some people hold that point of view. But never ever get a vaccine for the flu. The flu, you're going to put mercury in your body for a chance that you might not get the flu. And that is what thermosol is. Look up thermosol. Anyway, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here. I want to keep talking for a moment about what Agenda 21 is. I'm not doing a whole bunch of articles and everything like I normally do. I'm going to go ahead and try to break this down in a way that in the future I can say go to the Agenda 21 video and it will give you some insight. Our country, and I'm going to start at zero base here, uh, somebody that's never heard of any of this. <clears throat> The United States is a member of the UN. The UN was originally, according, uh, based upon who you ask, was originally designed to try to keep peace among nations. They were here to prevent bloodshed. Many people believe that they were here to uh, factor in a one world government. Um, that George Bush, George Bush Sr. referred to as the New World Order. Now, a lot of people have been um, brainwashed to believe that the New World Order is simply a realignment of the way that business is done on a global model. That's not what it is. It has blossomed into a man, number of different things that are dreadful, not the least of which is Agenda 21. My personal saying, Agenda 21 is Agenda 666. Agenda 21 is a UN initiative that believes, uh, well, proclaims to believe, that man is warming the planet. Man is not, in any way, shape, matter, or form, warming the planet. As a matter of fact, the planet has not been warming for the last couple of years. You can look that up as well. Certain areas are warmer than others. Certain areas are... Uh, the poles have shifted. Um, and this has happened a number of years ago. It happens over and over again. It is why um, you talk in the Bible just a couple thousand years ago. People were being healed by going to this, uh, Bethesda where the water was. And they were the healing waters washed over them. You know what? There's sand there now. 
Did factories cause that to happen? Did the booming factories and the cars that people were driving in in ancient Jerusalem and Rome and the area that had Christ killed, did they lose the water in that area because Jesus drove his car too much? No. The world has always moved and shifted, um, and certain parts have, you know, freezing and you'll find animal bones there where it used to be the tropics. This has always happened. But by getting you to believe that you, you watching this, by getting you to believe that you are causing this, then they can justify a large number of things. I've documented where they're trying to force abortions on um, people with mental disabilities, which regardless of which side of the abortion issue you are on, you should not have the right to invade somebody's body against their will. Um, it leads to things like China, which more and more of the West is praising as good. What they are doing in China is a model that they want to implement all over the world. One-child policies. Look up one-child policies for the United States of America. They want less of us. They're going to replace us any way they can. And we're not even allowed to have our lives. They want everything. And one part of this ridiculous agenda that is trying to justify murdering people and forcing abortions on people. Again, I'm not on the pro-life, pro-choice thing here. Um, I can see, I can, I'm, I'm definitely against late-term abortions. I'm more flexible the first trimester than m many people are who are conservative. But I'll say this. Forcing an abortion on someone, whether they're in China or here, in the name of population control, is murder. And it is, at the very least, an invasion of a person's right to exist. We do not need permission to have children. It is a right of existence. And it all ties into this meat thing that I was talking about. And I'm posting this on Monday. I'm about to go downstairs and chow on some meat. Why? Particularly because it's Monday. Because they want you not to. Why? Because they're saying that if we don't cut down on the amount of meat that we eat, then the earth will never be able to feed itself. That is entirely untrue. The United States has spent millions of dollars paying certain farmers not to farm at all in order to keep the agricultural market alive. So don't give me that line either. I'm going to end this with a... Um, um, uh, talk about the movie Possession. Um, look up Possession. I think it's a 2011 movie. It's so, so horror movie. It's, it's not bad. But in it, the girl, this wonderful little girl, she wants to stop her school from having meat on Monday. And she thinks even the lives of the little moth matters. Of course, you know, I don't go around killing insects for the hell of it. I'll open the window if I can to let them out. But the basis for this movie, hear me out. She doesn't want to eat any meat. She wants to live a nice life away from any animals being harmed. And then they buy this evil box. And this evil box has a demon in it. And he makes her nuts. And at one point, she goes to the fridge, and this little girl is eating meat out of the package, and she's growling like an animal. And then the I'm going to give the movie away, so shut, shut this off if you don't want to hear the end of the movie. Okay. At the end of the movie, they, they find out that the demon has left the little girl and gone back into the box. And at the end of the movie, I'm not going to give the very end away, but something else happens to the box. That is, you know, how this girl was portrayed. She was this little innocent girl, and look how nice she was. Why, well, she didn't even want to eat any meat. She wanted to stop her classmates from eating meat on Mondays. They use this, is my point. They use this ridiculous stereotype to be what a wholesome good girl is thought of. Somebody that is part of the UN agenda. She was so good. She was part of the New World Order at such a young age. All right? The Correct Views version of The Possession. 
This annoying little girl was brainwashed by her school. At one time, she was a wonderful little girl. A normal kid, she used to eat sandwiches from McDonald's. Yeah, it's not good for you. Nobody should ever eat McDonald's, but a healthy little kid can have a cheeseburger once in a while. But then the evil school came and they brainwashed the little girl. And they told her that her, the world would be better if there were less people here, less people like her. So she bought into this and became evil. And this box, it didn't have a demon in it. The box had the soul of a, of a farmer. And he used to raise cattle. And he knows how hard it is to raise healthy cattle. So what he did is he got inside the girl and brought common sense into her head. And when she went to the fridge to eat the meat, after she became a normal thinking carnivore, the spirit left her and left her to be a normal little girl just like all the rest of the girls. You see, it all depends on the way that you watch the movie. And for those of you that haven't seen it, go watch The Possession or you have no idea what I was talking about. But do listen to the first part of this again. Agenda 21. It is a movement designed by the leaders of the world, the leaders of countries like Germany, the United States, America, uh, Russia, America, the United States, Australia, they get together. And when they start deciding there's too many of us, then we start dropping off due to police brutality. We start dropping off due to longer and longer prison sentences, toxins in our food, vaccines on every corner. Why do you think this is happening? This is happening because they want to call the population. You are listening to the correct views. Thank you for doing so. This is brought to you by the Arcadia Grill, located on Court Avenue in downtown Canton, Ohio. Um, also, let me say real quick, there's no laptop here. You know why? My laptop is finally gone. So I am saving for another one. Please donate to the show if you can. I am trying to buy a laptop and it's looking like it's going to be about $350 used just to process the video quality that's on the camera. So I updated the camera. Please donate to the show if you can. Leave a comment. I'll let you know how to do that. Um, all money goes to a better show. And thank you for listening to The Correct Views. Hit share. Comment. Get this out to people. Let them know that Agenda 21 is run by a lot of eugenicists. People who want to see you and your family get smaller and ultimately die. You are listening to The Correct Views. Thank you for doing so. Good night. God bless.